Hey, welcome. Matt Jax is here from Industry Authority, and I'm super pumped that you're here because we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, and that is making that big, gnarly transition from your nine to five to being a full-time or a part-time coach, whatever you need to do to sustain yourself, control your time, control your income whilst helping others and being able to do what you want when you want with who you want. And coaching really gives you that ability. Uh, I know it because I've done it. I've made that transition. So I feel very qualified to talk about this. Luce has as well. We've both been in different careers, corporate, otherwise, before we came to coaching. So if you're watching this, we're going to go over specific steps that you get to do to make that jump. Maybe you're thinking about it, you're ideating, maybe you already started it. Either way, we're going to show you specifically what you need to do to successfully transition into being a full-time coach. So stay with us. We'll see you on the other side of the intro, and we're going to get into the good stuff. All right. So when I first started coaching, which I mean, realistically, uh, coach tennis, uh, but when I really started coaching, life coaching, and then ultimately business coaching, which was now years ago, gosh, close to a decade, it seems crazy to think about. I had, at a certain point, I was coming out of a corporate position. I was coming out of working for other people. And it was scary because now I had to go from having some safety and consistency, which maybe you have with your paycheck, to having it all up to me. I own the business. No one pays me if I don't pay myself. Can you relate to that? So what I did is I proceeded to make a lot of mistakes. And that's okay. Number one, I just want you to know you're going to make mistakes. That's okay. If you're waiting for it to all feel perfect, for you to have the perfect lineup sequence of what to do without having to ever waste any time or go down any roads that aren't exactly the right road, guess what? It's, it's essential. It's natural. So you can start by embracing the fact this is going to be a bumpy and perfect ride necessarily. Now, that being said, you don't have to do what I do and make all the mistakes. You don't have to go it alone. You don't have to try to figure it out, Google it, trial and error your way, uh, really often to error, to trial, to error, to error, to trial, to error, to error, to error, to trial. Uh, there are ways to shortcut that. You can either climb the mountain alone or you can climb with an experienced guide, a Sherpa. I highly recommend you get a Sherpa of some sort, whether that's us at Industry Authority or someone else, whoever feels good for you, it's authentic, and you feel that these people, one, they have done it, and two, uh, they align with your values and where you want to go. But uh, that is step one, is embrace the fact that you can either do it alone and it's harder, or you can get support. I wish I would have gotten support sooner. The biggest reason people don't get support, I think, is because they think, ah, it's too expensive. But the truth is, if you are now committed to building a business and you are going to do this and you're not giving yourself any other option, then at one, I commend you. And two, it is a bigger expense and a bigger cost to you to try to do it alone. Because think of what you are giving up. You're giving up time, taking more time than necessary to get your business up and running and profitable. And you're giving up money. Think of the money every month when you're not up and running that you are giving up in clients. Five, ten, thousands of dollars monthly that I was missing out on because I insisted on saving money, as many do, and not getting the proper support. If I had done that sooner, guys, I wish I could go back and get more support sooner. That is the one thing I would do differently if I did it over again. So, given that you're a little sooner earlier in your journey, that is one of the things that I would caution you to do is get support, support that fits for you, that is a proven track record of getting people like you where you want to go. And uh, and it's going to be a little bumpy sometimes. Be willing to make mistakes. That's okay. You will get there. And now we're going to get into some specific things that you can start doing right now to make that happen. Okay, step one for leaving your nine to five, becoming a coach. Let me tell you, you are going to be a mad scientist. Yes, you, like any good scientist, get to go out there, put on your white lab coat, and start doing experiments. You start researching. A good scientist starts by researching the literature. They don't just do an experiment out of the blue. They see what have people already done. If I'm doing a chemistry experiment, I read all the books. I read all the other research papers. What have other chemists already done? 
uh, in my field? What can I learn so I don't have to start from ground one? So you figure out what's going on, what's working in your field. So if you know what your niche is, or if you're still exploring different niches, you're gonna start by being a mad scientist, meaning you're gonna Google, you're gonna research, you're gonna read books, you're going to explore the topic or topics where you think you want to be coaching. And you're gonna see who's already doing it well. Why are they doing it well? What are their offers? How much do they cost? Who are they talking to? How are they talking to people? What are the words they're using? What are the, uh, the, the communication structures they're using in their posts, in their videos, in their books, in their blogs? I don't care. Go out in whatever niche you're interested in, getting into or just already have gotten into as a coach, be a mad scientist and start doing a ton of research. You're going to research, research, research like crazy and see what's going on in your niche. And once you've collected that data, then we can start moving on to the second part, which is you're going to start hanging out and it kind of works hand in hand with being a mad scientist, but you're gonna just start hanging out and creating your presence, your authentic presence in the places where your ideal client are hanging out. So you know, you've been researching, you've been seeing who's doing well as a coach in this spaces, you've been seeing inevitably where your ideal clients in whatever niche it is, uh, be it fitness, finance, spirituality, life coaching, productivity, I don't care what it is, business, you're gonna know by now after the research phase, kind of where your ideal client, people like to cluster online in groups, different social media groups, Facebook, um, different in-person groups, that's a thing, whatever you're, you're, now we're getting back to that post pandemic here. Um, you're gonna start hanging out where the people you wanna work with and coach are hanging out. And you're just gonna hang out. You're not gonna kick in the door and say, work with me. No, you're just gonna hang out and you're gonna learn. You're gonna listen and you're gonna transition, step two, from researcher to active participant. And you're gonna start having a presence. So it's hanging out and having a presence. Basically think of it as you're showing up to the party. You're the new person to the party. What do you do? You get to know people, you introduce yourself, you talk, you be genuine, you ask questions, and you start making your presence known as a fun, entertaining person at that party, at that event that other people want to be around and hang out. So step number two is just start hanging out where your ideal clients are hanging out. After that, step three is you're gonna start transitioning to slowly showing value, to showing them what value you have, to creating value, and positioning yourself as an expert. Now, you can do that pretty soon after you start hanging out in those spaces. One thing you don't wanna do is go straight into a new group and be like, hey, I'm an expert in this topic, let me help you. It's pompous, it's a little arrogant, and you might just get kicked out or asked to leave the group. So show up, start hanging out, make genuine connections, let people like you, and then start just giving value. Answer questions. If you can answer questions, do so. Give people real help. Give people coaching, support, whatever it is as a coach on specific things. Aim to help one person with one thing at a time. Amazing guidance for coaching, whether you're making a post, even this video. And I'm speaking to you, I'm thinking about you as one person on the other side of the screen. You're the one person that I'm trying to help with one specific thing right now. And that is you, whoever you are, helping you transition a little quicker, a little easier from your job into being a full-time coach. And that's it. If I help you right now, I don't care about the 10,000 million other people in your position. I care about you. And that's how I'm making this video. And that's how you wanna show up in any of your teaching or any of your value giving. Show up in a way to support just one person at a time with one specific problem. And if you do that again and again and again, people are going to start to notice. So hang out in the, the right places where your ideal clients are, start giving value to one person at a time, and that's gonna start uh, resonating and uh, flowering, spreading throughout the group uh, in general that you're speaking to. Okay, so now the next step is you've been hanging out, you're starting to get known a little bit. You got to have a good offer. You must have an offer. You got to have something to work while to sell as a coach or else you're just giving away free value. You can't build a business on that. And frankly, people will get better results with you if they are paying you to work with you. So you want them to pay you, one, so you make money so you can live a life. Uh, and do the things you want. And two, they will care about it and work harder if they're paying you. So we gotta create an offer, and now it's time to start really crafting your offer. You're gonna have to craft your offer based on what we call Uzga, their urgent specific problem, 
that they want solved right what right away uh, that they are able and willing to pay for. So urgent, specific, able and willing, and they're gathering in groups online. USGAW, group, large groups so you can identify. Uzga is an easy way to decide if your offer that you're making is a good one, if people actually take it up. Uh, we can give you more on that later. We have some cool tools, free, free tools and stuff to, to test that. But you've got to create your program. And we can't get into all the details of that right now, but creating a program, an offer, a price, uh, the way you're gonna deliver it, is it one-on-one, -on -one, is it group? That's the next thing to decide what's going to be right for you. So you have to create your customized offer and program. So you have this thing, this night, that you can just print again and again, program, 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 for five, 10, 100, thousand clients, one after the other. Uh, and we got to get that right because without the right offer, if you're not offering the right thing that they really want at this time that they're able and willing to pay for that solves their urgent specific problem, you don't get the pricing right, you don't get the setup right, you don't get the delivery right, uh, the selling of it right, well, guess what? Then you're going to really struggle bringing on clients. So this is an area I highly recommend that you do get professional support. This is something that we do. This is actually one of the main things we do. So little pitch for us. If you're interested, there's resources below. You can uh, find book a free call, other free resources, great stuff. But us or someone else highly recommend you get support. This is something if I had to do it again, one of the main things I would have invested much more time and money in getting professional coaching when I was first building my coaching business. True story. So get your offer on point. After that, you got to systematize it. Again, easier with support, but you wanna create systems once you've tested it and you've brought in a few clients, one, two, five clients, first couple, you're gonna start seeing what works, seeing the patterns, and you're gonna create systems around your content creation, around your marketing, around your sales system. Uh, and eventually you're gonna you know, hire a team, start creating ads, it's gonna be awesome, you'll have a ton of fun, just throwing money back and forth. <laughs> I mean, it can get to that point, but it's not all about the money, of course, it's about the impact as well. And the money should be a reflection of the impact. We truly, truly believe that. But these things go in order. So again, to quick review. One, you gotta decide, are you ready to make that transition? And if you are awesome, plant that in your brain, plant that seed. You're ready, you don't wanna settle for less. You don't wanna be working around someone else's clock, around whatever your reason is, clatch onto that and remind yourself and create a little pain for yourself if you have to. Uh, to motivate yourself to step out of that comfort zone and start taking action on your own business. I did it. I'm so glad I did. Luce has done it. So hundreds of our clients have done it. Um, and you can do it too. And then you got to start being a mad scientist. So start doing the research, figuring out where they're hanging out, who's already winning in that niche as let other people, other coaches that are successful be your guide. Then you got to start showing up in the places your ideal client or uh, showing up. So just start hanging out, being a member of the party and be someone who's fun and cool and not creepy to hang out with. And then third, you're going to start giving value. Focus on giving value to the group, but also one person at a time. Answer questions, solve problems, help people get over one little problem in your area of expertise that you're going to coach in. One person at a time and that will resonate and emanate out and people will start noticing and uh, and it'll it'll become a cascade effect uh, then you got to create your offer your awesome program and make sure it's something that all the boxes are checked there's a lot to get into but we do have a lot of resources uh, that you can access right away even for free that'll help you do that check down below and then you got to systematize you're gonna build your marketing campaign you're gonna build your branding you're gonna build your sales system uh, that's the next level and then uh, guys, some things that you just don't, don't trouble yourself. Don't screw yourself up and screw yourself over by some of the most common mistakes. One, don't do more things than you have to at once. Uh, simple scales, complex kills. Tattoo that on your body if you have to. But building a business, no matter how big you get, especially when you're small and you're newer, simple, you're going to be able to grow and scale. If you have simple Focus, complex, trying to go many different paths and branches uh, at one time, that will never work and it'll cause so much heartache and it'll cost you money, it'll cost you time, it'll cost you uh, your, your ability to serve people. It'll cost others as well. So pick one offer to start, pick one main 
channel for selling, whether it be directly one-to-one, -one, messaging, webinars, challenges, whatever it is. Pick one main niche, don't pick one main problem, don't spread yourself across niches or problems, and uh, keep focus. And the other thing is, guys, so many people think, I call it the uh, false idol syndrome, and that is thinking these false idols that are gonna make or break you. I have to have a funnel. No, you don't. You don't need a funnel. Your, your ideal client is not, your first clients especially are not on the other side of a fancy funnel. It just takes time and money. I have to have a great website. No, you don't. You don't even have to have a website. Your first, fifth, tenth client or two is probably not going to come just because of your website. And you can get a lot of clients, and I know people that do this without any website, let alone a great one. Uh, I've got to have, you know, an email campaign. No, these things, there's a time and a place for them. But early on, they're just going to suck your time. They're just going to take your attention and keep you from doing the stuff that's going to get clients. And that is making offers, doing follow-up, connecting, solving problems for people, showing your value, just getting out there and coaching, and then inviting them to your programs, plain and simple. So guys, Hopefully that helped you a little bit. Now, obviously we just scratched the surface, but I did wanna give you some hard, solid, objective facts and truths and steps you can take and start using right away. They work, we've done them, we do them, we teach them, uh, and there's a lot more to do. So if you wanna find out more, if you wanna go deeper, if you want to, goodness, avoid the mistakes that Luce and I made early on, which is trying to do too much alone, thinking we were saving money, uh, when really we were costing ourselves money by not getting professional support and coaching. Uh, if you want to avoid all that and get to the good stuff sooner, talk to us. We are here. We're happy to help you. Uh, and that doesn't mean just pitch you. We just want to talk to you and see if we can support you and what that might look like. If we can't, no worries, but we'd love to connect with you and help you in any way because that's what we do. That's what we love to do. And you are a helper and we love helping the helper. So Hopefully you got something from this. What is your number one takeaway? Drop it in the comments. What are you gonna go do right now? That's a question to answer for yourself more than anyone, because this is not just for you to listen to, this is for you to do. And again, really, really commend you for even having the guts to think about becoming a coach and leaving the comfort and safety of a nine to five job. And yes, it's a little scary, but yes, it's absolutely worth it. All right, cheers guys. We will see you on the other side.